I'm gonna help you figure out if you should jump or slide your feet in the Olympic lifts, and we're gonna start right now. What's up everybody, I'm Dane Miller from GarageStrength.com, and if this is your first time to the channel and you wanna become a better weightlifter, you wanna be more athletic, you wanna be more explosive, and you wanna take that onto the competition field, make sure that you like, you subscribe, and you ring that notification bell so that we can help you become a champion. So this is a question that we get asked all the time at Garage Strength. Should we jump our feet when we're finishing that snatch or when we're trying to finish that clean and jerk? Or should we slide our feet out? And this is a long discussion that's gonna help us have a better understanding of how we can optimize our technical execution. So first, let's start off with who are jumpers? And can you be a world-class weightlifter and still jump your feet? And I would argue, absolutely. You can take someone like the 67K weightlifter from Turkey, Danny R. He's a phenomenal weightlifter. I believe he snatched 160 kilos at 69, now 155 down at the 67K weight class. And he jumps his feet very high. Another world-class weightlifter who has been busted is Opti Alkadov. He tended to jump his feet quite a bit. He's one of the best world-class weightlifters for a very long period of time. Even to a point, I would say Lasha is a little bit more in the, in the middle, especially in his snatch. He doesn't technically jump super high, but he does move his feet a little bit more aggressively. And I think that it's important to recognize what do these guys get out of moving their feet in a little bit more of a jumping fashion? They're gonna be able to generate a ton of power. They have a good feeling with the bar. They are extremely athletic. They're good at feeling that connection with the bar and they feel a little bit more explosive when the bar comes off the hip to move those feet a little bit more violently. What's one of the downsides here? And Lasha excluded because he is so consistent with his movement. Opti and Daniar tend to have a little bit more misses if you look back throughout their professional career. They're still world-class weightlifters. They're still phenomenal but they were a little bit more inconsistent when it came down to their snatch based movement. So the movement of the feet from a jumping perspective can generate a decent amount of power, but it doesn't have the best technical precision. So if we're talking about sliding our feet or just slightly moving those feet out, we will get a little bit of air time, but it's going to be a much shorter air time that you're going to see. And if you look at someone like Lu Jun or Jin Chung Kuo or Yuri Zakharevich or Yuri Varganian or Norik Varganian, all of these lifters, Jordan De La Cruz, she's a, a, a modern American that tends to just slide her feet out. All of these lifters have a longer period of force production. And if we can think about it from a biomechanic perspective, sliding the feet is going to optimize the length of your pull. So the longer your feet are grounded, the longer you're going to be able to pull on the finish. Now, the part about sliding also comes into the catch. If we slide our feet to that catch position, we're gonna get grounded sooner. So the sooner we're grounded, the faster we can apply force to decelerate the bar. So the biggest aspect behind the sliding of the feet is that we have a very good connection with the bar and we have a longer pull and a faster catch period to decelerate the bar. The problem is that with beginner weightlifters, they feel really explosive when they're jumping all over the place. They like to bang the bar and throw their head back and move all over the place because it feels powerful and it is, but it's not precise. So that feeling changes when the athlete starts to slide their feet. It's a little bit different feeling. A lot of that power gets into the hands and then into the bar instead of moving the body. And that feeling can be very foreign and there can be a three to six month time frame of that transition between jumping to sliding that can lead to a little bit of a technical regress. But if you stick with it, and if you consistently try to develop that feeling, that long pull, that long catch period, over time, the beginner weightlifter should be taught how to slide their feet to get more stable in their catch position, to have that longer pull, and to be more consistent and repetitive with their technical movement. So if you like this information, please click on this video right here. 
Make sure you like, you subscribe, you ring that notification bell. That stuff means a lot to the growth of our channel. Until next time, guys, peace.